Welcome to Website Assets. In today's video, we're going to explore Bloxy's header and footer builder. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter the customizer. We can either click customize here or go over to our dashboard and scroll down on the left hand side here and go on appearance and click on um, customize. But it's easier to just click on customize when we're logged in and we're viewing our site. Okay, and that takes us to the customizer. Okay, on the left sidebar here, you will find both the header and footer builder. Now, you don't need to have Bloxy Pro installed, but we have Bloxy Pro installed, so we're gonna have some options that you might not find on the free version, but everything basically stays the same. So let's go ahead and click on the header builder and take a look at what we can do here. All right, like anywhere else, uh, any other theme, we have our header builder here and we can just drag and drop our elements on the prime, uh, the top header, the primary header and bottom header. Here it's called bottom row, main row, and then top row. Let's wait for this to refresh and let's click on the settings icon here and we can see that we have options. So we can make it a boxed one and you can see that there's a slight shadow and we can make it full width so it goes end to end and the default the yeah the default one ends up like this and we can change it depending on whether it's mobile or desktop and obviously the mobile one it's a hamburger icon and then we can change it to minimum row height and you can see it can either shrink or grow and we can also change the shrink option if a uh, sticky state row shrink if we have sticky header enabled okay and we have design here so we can change the background color um say red for instance Ooh, or probably this green and make it a bit lighter it's a bit... Mm. lighter so it's a bit easier to view okay and we can also change the top border Here. And you can kind of you can kind of see it. It's very thin, and we can change the width here, and you can also have a bottom border, and we can also change the shadow. Okay. All right. So that's how we use our layout here, and we can make things go in the center as well. To drag and drop it, you can see these blue points where you can stick these onto. Okay, and we can also go ahead and click on the bottom tabs over here to see our tablet and mobile header. So if you clicked on this, we have our mobile menu and our socials, and we can, let's say, add our account here. Okay, and once this refreshes, you can see we have our account icon over here. And let's click on X. All right, let's wait for it to reload on us. Okay, so it's it's kind of buggy. We'll get back to you. All right, so we just refreshed it and um, we're back. We're back in business. So you can see here that we have a bunch of elements on our global header. If you scroll down here, we have account, button, cart, contacts, divider, HTML, extra menus, uh, search bar, search box, socials. So let's choose something real quick. So we have our socials here and we can drag and drop it. Let's say underneath our logo. And once that loads up, and hopefully it does. Okay, there it is we can go ahead and configure it. So it goes with anything on here. So let's let's start with our, um, a, a good example is our logo. If we clicked on that, it gives us our header customizing options for logo and you can go ahead and change your logo image. You can change your tagline, uh, to choose to display it or not and where to align it. So for socials, if you clicked on that, we can see our socials here, we can 
add and remove things. Let's see if they have... All right, VK is good. Let's add that, and then we will have our VK over here. And there are a bunch of options here. We can make them large or small. We can make it wide. We can make them a custom color. We can have the official colors for these. And we can also toggle on and off our options here. So we can probably put it in the middle, and it's going to align it way better. Okay, yeah, it looks much better. And we can select them to open a new tab. And we have our uh, font over here. Fonts over here. So we can go ahead and you see they are a serif font. Let's go ahead and look for a sans serif font. Okay, that's good. And we can also change the size and whatnot. And we can also change the margin of those right here. Now, how do we configure our links here. You can see that if you clicked on these, nothing really happens. Or we can hide um, and show them. We can also um, change our URL from here one by one. But how Bloxy does it is that we have, you see down here, configure social links in general, social network accounts. And you can just click on that. And it gives us a whole list of a bunch of social media accounts where we can insert our links. So if we inserted our uh, Slack URL here and we used this widget, our social media widget, on a different part of the website or just the button, it would take it from here. Okay, And the same goes for, let's say, our menu over here. Let's click. Oops. I didn't mean to click on that. Let's click on our menu over here. And you can click on that on these three dots here. And you have a bunch of options on how to change the design. We can make the spacing larger or smaller. We can make the inner spacing larger or smaller, and so on and so forth. All right. But even if we go on design and change a bunch of options here and how it looks, right, we could. We don't know where to find how to change the menus. So right here, you got to pay attention to Bloxy's bottom text here. It says manage your menu items in the menu screen. And it gives us a, a hyperlink anyway. So it makes, us easy to it makes it easier for us to, to navigate it. Navigate to it. Excuse me. And you can see that it takes us to our dashboard and takes us to our menus page. And we can go ahead and use the stock WordPress one. All right, so, okay. So let's go back. And that's about it for our header. It's really just about layout and selecting the blocks and widgets that you'd want to use. Okay, now let's take a look at our footer. Now let's click on our footer settings here. And you can see it's basically the same as our header. Where we have our Top row, middle row, bottom row, and if we clicked on, let's see, there is no middle row, but there is, there is a top row, and if we clicked on the gear icon here, you can see that we can change up the columns. So we can change the width of the columns here. We can change how many columns we have and how wide each one is. Right? Just be careful about um, how many columns you choose. As you can see, we basically deleted our widgets, but they're still here. Don't worry. And you can change the column spacing and the widget spacing and vertical spacing and so on. Right? We can also change the vertical alignment depending on what elements we have on there. All right? We can also change the design. We can change um, the title font. And it's a bit thick, so let's go with Times New Roman, and that's a bit easier to read. And you also change the colors and whatnot. And take a look at this. We have widget number one, and you can see the dots where we can place it. And we can put this all the way over here. Okay. We have a bunch of other elements on here as well. We have buttons, contacts, content blocks, HTML. We can put in our logo over here. Right, and we can configure this um, depending on, on what we're using it as. 
we can put in a search box here, right? And it's a bit hard to see. We can make it a bit longer. And we can add live results and make it centered. And with the design, we can make the background color white. Oh, white, okay? And how about if we wanted to put something else, okay? So this applies for both your header and your footer if you have your widgets. So let's go back here on our footer main, uh, footer builder customizer main menu thing. And we have widget area number one here. And we have widget areas one through six. Okay, and you can see it's blank. And if you clicked on, if we clicked on our widget area six here, you can see it's blank. If you click on widget area number one here, we have our text over here. So how do we add things other than what's provided for us? You can see this plus icon basically means that we can add a block. So let's add a block here, and you can choose any, choose anything that you want. And let's go ahead and use YouTube or a video pop-up. But let's go ahead and just use the vanilla one here and click and it will paste in our YouTube video. And we have a video of ours over here. And you can see that we can toggle the alignment of where it's going to be on our site. And we can also change the vertical alignment as well. And let's refresh our site real quick. Scroll back down. We should see it appear over here. Okay, there it is. And you can also change the design. So we don't really have any text here. So let's go ahead and insert some over here real quick. Um, we can put a heading over here and say, watch one of our videos. And we can move that up and we can change our font color and then make it bold. And then center it. And then we don't really have to do anything because we can just change the font over here. But we can go ahead and make this bold and make it white as well from here. Okay, and I fixed it right there. And you can see that if I wanted to move it over here, I can, well, since I don't have space, I'll have to delete this and I can move this over here and you'll see that it moves over here and gets kind of squished because the space allotted for this area here is much wider. Okay, and let's go ahead and click on the gear icon again and show you what I'm talking about. If I clicked on this layout, it gets wider here. If I click on this layout, this one gets wider. And of course, we can also double check to make it mobile responsive. And you can see that if you scroll down here, it looks very different for our top row. And you can make it just two columns. And you can see it fills it out really nice. All right, then we, let's go back and take a look at our, our desktop one. And on our desktop one, we only have two, but let's make it three. And white in the middle. And we have widget area number one over here. this and then here okay that looks good so let's go ahead and save our options by clicking on publish and we have our header here and we have uh, we have our footer excuse me and we have our header up here and let's go ahead and check out our website to see if the changes have been reflected so there you have the header that we customize using Bloxy's header builder. And if you scroll down, we have the footer that we customized. We deleted a few things while using Bloxy's footer builder. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.